Have you ever been down? Have you ever been in a place where you cannot come out or things have just changed suddenly? Today we are going to look at the life of Moses uh, after he killed one of uh, the Egyptians uh, when trying to you know, save one of the Hebrew brothers and we want to see what happened. My name is uh, Julius Karemi, an evangelist at PCA Loresho Parish. Welcome. Moses in Exodus chapter 2 we see he's born and he's raised up in the palace. Uh, we know the story how his mother hid him and uh, he was found by the Pharaoh's daughter. And he was raised uh, as one of the children of the Egyptians. Uh, but this day he comes out and finds an Egyptian and a Hebrew uh, guy, they, they are in an argument and they are fighting. And um, he takes hold of the Egyptian and kills him and uh, hides him in the sand. Now the next day again he's going around and he sees two Hebrew uh, uh, people fighting and what happens he tries to ask them what is happening why are you fighting each other you belong to the same uh, group the same tribe and one of them told him you know you want to do to me as you did to the Egyptian I know you killed him and so Moses knows that uh, his secret uh, has been found out and he runs away into the desert of uh, Midian and there he goes to a well and when he's seated there some girls come with their livestock and they're trying to get them watered but some shepherds come and chase them away but Moses stands his ground and uh, he ensures that the, these ladies are able to water their animals and when they go home they of course speak of their uh, experience of what happened at the well and they tell their father very well that uh, there's this Egyptian who has saved them because I, actually the dad was like surprised. Why are you early? How, how come today you, you came so early? And they had to give him the, uh, the story. And he asked them why they had left Moses uh, outside. And they went back for him and he came. And uh, of course, we know later that uh, he was given one of the daughters of Reuel, whose name means a friend of God. And he was given the daughter Zipporah. And of course, we know they had a child later called Gadesha. And this is a story about a person or a person whose life changes in one instance. One day you are in the palace, the next day you are in the desert. But I, would you, I want us to see the character or the heart that was of Moses. Moses was not uh, just an ordinary guy. He had a heart for his people. He had a heart for justice. And even when things have been turned around in his life, we see that he does not change his character because things have turned round or have gone south as, we, uh, as it were. But his character is the same. When he finds a people who are trying to oppress some ladies, he stands his ground and fights for them. And in so doing, he was, God was able to bless him with a family. We are facing hard times we are going through hard times yes and some people may find themselves their lives being turned around one day you're in a very good workplace the next day you don't have a job one day your business is doing so well the next minute you know you have to close down you don't have customers the environment is not conducive conducive for you to to do the business what do you do does it change your personality a true Christian has the face of Christ. He has the character of Christ. You have to employ it everywhere you go. And if you persist with the character of Christ in you, regardless of the situation that God has sent you to, it may be a, a, seem to you as a lowering, it may seem to you as a demotion, but God is still with you and he's going to bless you in a different way that you never expected him to bless you in and this is something that you have to take heart in that despite all God has a wonderful plan for you so my brother and my sister you could be going through a change in your life something radical has happened in your life but remember that God is still in control is still persisting to give you hope and a good future so stay as a true Christian. Don't compromise. Live according to your faith. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed.